Hello everybody, it's Spartan Warrior 5, and today we've got some Battlefield Bad Company 2. Hooray! Yes, it's not Call of Duty, it's not something stupid or retarded, okay. No commando here, yes, finally. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys my impressions, my thoughts on this game. And uh, just to start off, I'm not the best player if you guys ever jump on a lobby and I'm in it uh, I'm usually not the best player but I'm not horrible at it like this will be like an average score for me on squad deathmatch spoiler alert it's like six or eighteen to eight or eighteen to nine something like that I think <clears throat> so yeah I'm not the best Player, I've never been a great player on first-person shooter games, so never expect something great just like consecutive games. I'm not a consecutive player, so just putting that out there. So if you're saying, "Wow, you really suck at this game," I acknowledge I'm not the best, but I wouldn't say I suck. So just putting that out there. Now let's get into the review of this multiplayer. I'm going to start off with the bad things, because like Borderlands, there's not that many things wrong with it, but there are some aspects that I would rather not see to it, if that makes any sense. Uh, first off, I've been having a lot of troubles with my uh, stats and rankings and things of that nature. Like, just this morning, I was playing, I was doing really good. And then there was just one match where I was doing terrible, so I was like, oh, forget this, I want to keep my, keep my streak of good, doing good alive. So I quit out of the match, went to check my stats, everything was erased. No kills, no points for any classes, just nothing, zero, everything is empty. I'm like, hmm, that's kind of weird, so I just quit out of the game, and joined back, and like, restart the game. Yeah, everything's back, I join in a match, I have nothing. It completely reset my shit. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I lay off Battlefield for a couple hours. I didn't even play PS3 that whole day. And uh, and then it just went back to normal. So I don't know. That's one thing I would want to see fixed. But I don't know if I'm going to be making any changes to this game because it's so late into it. So that's one little grievance I have with it. Uh, what else can I talk about? for the bad, because I had a few ideas. I don't like how there's a tank in squad deathmatch, you know, I feel like people just, there'll be lobbies where it's like, everyone get to the tank, get to the tank, get to the tank, everyone get to the tank, and you'll like, see three people in the tank, you know, whoring it up. But that does make some nice triple kills, though, I will say that. Uh, that whole aspect, I wish they would keep vehicles to more of the true objective type games like Rush and Conquest and just keep squad deathmatch to just using guns and grenades. I think that'd be much better. Because there would be a couple times where I'm having a great game but then people would be like, hmm, he's doing a bit too well. Let's uh, fuck him up and, you know, go and use a tank and pardon my French there. Just very... It aggravates me when people use a tank. I... If you look at my stats, I have never been in a vehicle or ever used a vehicle, alright? So, that's how much I don't like vehicles, because I feel like they're just cheap kills, and it's like, I play this as a first-person shooter and not a first-person tank rider, you know? So, I don't use vehicles at all. Next thing, uh, the whole Magnum ammo deal, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like stopping power in Call of Duty, it increases the damage of your bullets. And then body armor, which is basically like Juggernaut. Uh, I feel like they set those up to like too high of levels, and some people might be going like, well, you're a pussy. Well, as a person like me, it's kind of difficult to level up. And I don't think they should have set it that high of level for those things. You know what I'm saying? Because it makes people like me at a disadvantage. I'm like, ah, oh, Son of a bitch, he's got body armor. Oh my god, what a loser. He's got magnum ammo. But uh, you know what? Knowing me, once I get to it, I'm probably going to be using it. So, I don't know. Uh, that's basically what's bad about this game. I mean, I don't feel like there was a whole lot of overpowered weapons. Maybe the M16. 
which is like you'll watch a kill cam or like watch who killed you and it'd be like fully automatic M16 it's like what the hell so I don't know that's the one gun that really kind of pisses me off is the M16 not in Call of Duty more in this game because it just seems like really abused and I don't know I don't know what's about it it's just there and I don't like it so but again I'll probably be using it not really probably the M4 and the AUG AUG's an amazing gun you guys should probably use it when you uh, get to it for those of you who play this game Let's get into the good things. No kill streaks, thank God. Jeez, you know, there is some camping to an extent in this game, but nothing for kill streaks. You know, it's just people who really are KD obsessed whores that want to just, you know, keep their KD nice and impressive to press all the ladies who played this game. Oh yeah, you guys are awesome, idiots. Um. But yeah, I, th I feel like kill streaks kind of kill the game because it's more like you get a couple kills and then you let your kill streaks get the rest of the kills, you know, that kind of thing. I feel like this game is much better. I feel like the vehicles are more kill streaks than anything else, to be honest. But, you know, they're just there. They're not really kill streaks, so. I don't know. And I just hit the mic. I'm sorry for you guys who heard that little monstrosity bit noise. I don't know. Uh, I like the guns. Like, you feel really satisfied when you get a kill in this game. It's, I don't know what's about it. In Call of Duty, you'll kill someone with a gun and it's like, oh, okay, I got another kill. You know? In this game, it's like, you kill someone, it's like, yeah, I killed someone, adrenaline rush, woo! And it's like, alright, cool. You know? You just don't get that in Call of Duty. And you know what? I really wish they would work on that kind of thrill aspect to it, but, you know, they're kind of... Call of Duty's fallen short on that whole adrenaline rush kind of a deal. You know, back in the day, it was all like, Call of Duty, woohoo, yeah! And now it's like, oh, okay, cool. So, just something for food for thought. Oh, look at these guys. God, horrible aim. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, there's some bounce to this game, I guess you could say. It's like, the guns will have idle sway and, like, Barrel rise, that's something that Call of Duty really doesn't have a whole lot of. And it just that's part of it that makes the kills just so satisfying. Especially sniper rifle kills. You get some with a sniper rifle and it's like, Woo! Yeah! Hells yes. I don't really snipe that much. Not really. Um guys, let me know if you want to see more battlefield gameplays. They're not going to be exactly the greatest scores. If I get a great score recorded, then you'll definitely see it uploaded. Like, just this morning, I got a 20 and 8. That's probably one of the gameplays I would probably post. But, uh, average gameplays like this is what you're probably going to be expecting a lot of. So if you guys want to see that, you know, something changing pace of Call of Duty, please let me know in a comment or personal message, hey, more Battlefield gameplays, I don't care about the score, and look at this bullshit with the knife. I totally stab that guy. That's one thing that's actually kind of bullshitty. The knife. Like, there'll be moments where I just stab someone in the face and I'll get him, but then there'll be other times where I stab him. I know it. I stab him right in the face, and it, he just, it, like, it just bounce off, and he'll just, like, knife me back, and it's like, what the hell? Like, oh my god. So, that's one thing that I have a problem with in this game, is the whole knife. It's like... There's no panic knife, thank god, but there's panic pistoling, which is okay, because I do it a lot, a lot. Like, oh my god. But that helps get kills, so I don't know. So, uh, next week, I'm dropping the uh, Mirror's Edge review, and then let me know in a comment, would you like to see a walkthrough of Dead Space? Because I have a couple of gameplays of that recorded. I'm already starting through the game, uh, story mode, so let me know if you want to see a walkthrough of Dead Space, and would you want me to strictly do that, switch off between that and Battlefield and re other reviews. Let me know what you guys want to see, because I'm game for anything, because Call of Duty is really starting to bore me. I don't know, like, just watching videos, playing it, it's really just losing its luster. Playing this, on the other hand, is like an adrenaline rush, and I'm just loving it, and it's like, woo! Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, the gameplay is coming to a close here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. For more commentary, strategies, tactics, and whatnot, check out the channel. Almost 500 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Uh, means a lot. Uh, end score and KD and whatnot will be shown in a minute. Let's see. There you go. It's almost like a 2 KD. So, 
I will talk to you guys later.